Hi guys, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw the Fortnite logo. So let's get started. To draw this logo, because there's so many little details, I'm going to use a thinner Sharpie than usual. So I'm going to first start by the center tower. And on the center tower, in the top right here, there's this little uh, tower that has the flag. So that's where I'm going to start. So I'm basically going to start and draw a little rectangle. And then I'm going to draw the flag. So what's really cool about this logo is everything is in black. So it's really easy to go back in and fix anything that you need to fix because it doesn't really matter. You're just you're going to fill everything in. So the goal right here is we're going to try to break up everything into um, squares and rectangles and simple shapes wherever we can to draw this logo. So right here I'm drawing the roof of that little house on top of the tower and I'm going to bring down a line. So like I said, because this is all going to be filled in, it doesn't matter. But by doing it this way, it makes it easier to draw rather than just trying to draw the outside shape. So that's one tip I wanted to tell you guys when you're drawing this logo is to break it up into squares and circles and rectangles and triangles wherever you can rather than just trying to draw the outside shape. Okay, so now we're basically just trying to build our tower, our center tower, which is our main tower. And I'm going to simplify this logo as much as I can so that we can make this drawing easier to draw. Okay, so that's our main tower. And after I'm done with everything, I'll go in there and um, fill it all in. So from there, I'm going to basically start this side first. So I'm going to bring down this curve. So our whole goal is to draw this little hill. So everything that you're going to be drawing is going to start to come down lower and lower into this hill. That's what you want to be aware of when you're drawing. So about right here, I'm going to come up with another little house. So I'm going to come about right here and draw the roof. So it looks all kind of weird right now. But once we shade it all in, it's going to make sense. So then we have that little satellite dish up here. And we have our next little hill. So notice I'm just kind of slanting slowly, slanting down. So up here I'm going to draw this little chair. Okay, so now we're going to start to draw some of this grass right here. Oops, a little too big. Okay, so then about right here, I'm going to bring down a slanted line and come down. So where I'm going to fit my tree. So notice once again, I'm just coming down. So right here, I'm going to fit in this tree. Okay, so now let's go to the other side. 
So once again, we're going to build a hill coming down this way. So right next to it, we're going to draw this tower. And then we're going to draw this little hill right here with this little catapult machine. So it's going to zigzag and then just one longer one for the platform at the top and the trees. So once again, we're going to come down with this hill. So our goal right now is just to try to make the both sides the same. So we're just going to drag a point right across from there. And just connect it so now we're at the same level on this little hill so then right here we're going to draw the trees so i'm just going to give myself an angle line for the tree all the way down and so another one about right here and then from there i can go in and draw the details so it's just a bunch of zigzags on both sides of that line and the fence so about right here I'm just going to draw a line through and another one and here and there I'll just add the fence posts So now that we have all the little details drawn in for the hill, we're going to start to draw the letters. So about right here, we're going to start with the letter F. So I'm going to pop this part up and kind of um, slant it down a little bit, just a tiny bit angle, about that much. And I'm going to bring a straight line down. So we're going to start to draw all the letters right here. So when we go to the other side, we're basically going to draw the E. So what you want to do is, since this is the same level, you want to also make the E end at the same level of the F. So I'm just going to come right across, just approximate, say about right here. And you want it about the same width. So that's the tricky part of this. You just want to make this side approximately the same size as that. And then from there, bring it all the way down. So let's start with the F first. So the F is going to fit right in this area. So I'm just going to go ahead and follow my outside line and draw these thick block letters. So for the F, number one, nice and thick. It definitely won't be exactly the same, but <laughs> as long as it looks like it, that's our goal. Okay, so we have, let's see here, we can bring this down a little bit more. And I'm going to connect it with a slanted line. So we have our F in. Now for our E. So same thing, the E is going to start by in this area right here. And let's just come back, following our outside line. So bring this straight down. So obviously we want to make sure it's about the same on this side, but right there. So if you need a ruler, definitely get your rulers out and you can try to make sure it's at the same level. I'm just going to wing it for now until I get to the bottom, then I'll get my ruler out. So about right here, let's see, I'll make sure I'm at the same, okay. So I got my E in, so this part is slightly slanted. Okay, so now to make it easier, I'm going to get my ruler out so that I can draw the bottom of this um, little rectangle here for all my letters. So let me make sure I am 
straight. So about right there, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a straight line through. So that way I know where to, um, where to end all my letters on the inside. Okay, so now that F and the E in, you want to start with the center letter, which is going to be the T, right under this tower. So right under this tower, a little bit lower than the E and the F, we're gonna start and draw a slanted line right under the tower, right here, and we're just gonna draw our T. And go all the way down. So the original logo has a little curve at the bottom, but I'm not gonna do that because it makes it a little bit too complicated. So that's why I'm making a straight line. Okay, so we have our T in. Now we're gonna fit an O and an R in here and an NIT in here. So obviously the N and the I and the T are gonna be a little bit thinner and the O and the R are gonna be fatter. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start with the R. So about right here, right next to T. So use a pencil if you're not comfortable drawing um, letters. And you can play around with the proportions and fix everything a lot easier. So come in here and then the center. And then our O. So it's just an oval right inside in this area. And the center. Okay, so now the N right next to it, we're gonna draw the N. slant so just kind of make sure you have your I your T so you have enough room so I'm trying to follow the exact same font and kind of simplifying it to make it a little bit easier to draw so but right here I'm going to slice slant the last one which is a T. Yay we did it! <laughs> so thank you for the requests. I know you guys love Fortnite right now it's like the craze right now right so hopefully you guys appreciate this logo right here that I'm drawing for you guys. And you'll give it a try. And I think it's really relaxing because it's just graphics and shading and, and drawing letters. So that's pretty much it for the Fortnite logo. Now I'm gonna go in there with my regular Sharpie and shade in everything and fix things wherever I need to. So I'm gonna speed this part up. Well, I hope this uh, inspires you to give it a try and it was very satisfying to watch. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.